This is a video about action from the Rio Olympics. It starts in a game between New Zealand and Belgium with a New Zealand player lifting the ball accidentally into the body of a Belgian player and because of he's within five meters and has lifted the ball into him, that is a dangerous play offence technically. First penalty corner is awarded. The ball is played in and shot and it hits the outside of the foot of a defender who is positioned with his foot just outside the goal post. So going out of play, not going on target. The umpire, having seen what happened from very close range, stops the game and goes and consults with his colleague. And they award another penalty corner. And the same thing happens again. A shot is made, the ball hits the outside of the foot, planted outside the post. The umpire's close enough to see that it's not on target, and he immediately awards another penalty corner. So what is going on here? The first decision to award a penalty corner was taken after consultation with a colleague and they both agreed on the penalty corner. The second one was identical. Novice umpires are often asked about this sort of scenario in rules, rules tests. Is a, a penalty corner awarded when there is no intent and no advantage gained from this sort of baseline contact and they get it right. Why are two FIH umpires, world panel umpires, getting it so badly wrong?